Good afternoon. Well, it's Wednesday and we've managed to get out the woods for a couple of hours. And I thought, something a little bit different today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some of my camping gear, but woods gear, I used to use back in the day when I started out and then a few years later. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to light the fire and I'm going to light the fire the way I used to light it when I was a kid. Bit different than what I do now and I'll talk you through it. Hopefully it'll work. So when I was younger, what I used to do, what you can see here now, I'd put two logs and then I'd build the small twigs on top of it and I'd light it from underneath. The only thing with this is I never used to put any sticks on the ground to raise it off the cold because I didn't know any better. But we'll give it a go now. So I'm going to light it with a match now from underneath. I got a K&M match safe. I've had it quite a few years. Doesn't see uh, the outdoors very often, but it's a good little bit of kit. Small little household matches. That's all I had as a kid. Well, she's lit. Not the way I would do it now as a grown-up. If you think I'm grown-up, that is. Kettle's on, but we will be putting it into a parallel fire lay because having a messy fire is just really annoying. All is now well in the world. The fire 
is in a parallel configuration and it's blowing straight towards me. Here's Nick eagerly anticipating his cup of coffee. And if you look down by there, please sir, can I have some more? What we have here with my terrible camera angle then is my old non-stick survival age 58 mug. Haven't used it in years. Well, it's going to have a cup of tea in it now. Well it's having a swill because it probably needs it. Does your vagina pillars? <laughs> Keep your vagina soft and moist. Well, this is gonna dribble all down my chin. <laughs> down there, it's gonna dribble all down my chin. Well, I've had my cup of tea in my old mug, and it didn't dribble down my chin, but it went cold pretty quick, and it absolutely stinks of the PLC pouch. So it's not that pleasant. So I've got another two old friends I brought out today. My Oregon saw. I'm a cold steel recon scout. We're running low on feather stick wood, so I'm gonna go and get some. Try this puppy out, it's been a while. Well, I got my feather stick wood. Plenty of that to keep me occupied. I will not be uh, using it again. It cuts as rough as hell. Nowhere near as quick as a silky. But then I didn't have silkies 15 years ago. Right, I've come over here now for some piece of go yet. I'm gonna make myself a retro snack. Mackerel fillets and noodles. I've dug my oldest bit stove out. And this goes back a few years. I've got some hexi blocks. I 
and these are the round ones which are far superior to the, the square ones, the military ones, which were a pile of crap. Fifty-eight mug, which I haven't used for years. Osprey Watt bottle. A lid I made for my 58 mug many years ago. I've also got one for this. I've used the cup song and he was a 58 now. God, it's been so long I can't even remember what to do. safe enough. So trusty matches again. Don't know if these hexi blocks be any good because they are at least 10 years old. Let's wait for the three of them to catch, you know. Got a compass on the top as well. I'm a big fan of putting tape around just about everything. So, God knows how long this is going to take to boil. But I'm only doing noodles anyway. But I had this idea because I watched a video on the weekend from Duncan Dorsey Woodland Blades and he basically did the same thing. He got a rat pack out and his old hexi stove I needed it and I thought, ah, as an idea, I think I'll do that when I go out. Put all these clips on it many years ago. Whoa. I've even got a pot dangler. I think I made that and I never use the damn thing which goes clips under there and one of them so bit of nostalgia well we got some bubbles so I think I put my noodles in.
And I've got another thing. Here's an oldie. Buck Ranger. A meal of champions. So I went off for five minutes and I come back now and it's gone out. Well, they look cooked. noodle soup and now the tin of mackerel goes in but far too much water in it but I haven't had noodles in the woods for a very long time So now I'm going to enjoy my retro slop. Bottoms up. Cut very well at all. So now I'm going to batten this log down with Old Faithful. The knot, not the problem. She still got it. Well, old faithful has come through. Look at that perfect feather stick wood. Got plenty of feather sticks there.
not the best feather stick in the world, but it'll definitely get a fire going. Damn sight better than the shovel last week anyway. Well, Nick and I have had a pleasant uh, evening in the woods. Been great. Been nice to uh, use some of my old kit, which I haven't seen the light of day in years. The, um, the buck is a bit blunt, so that wasn't much cop. But uh, the, the recon scout still works great. Cracking knife. So where's Nick? Nick behind me. Over here. Zang. Zang, Nick. Great. Right. So. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, don't leave me a thumbs down because it really pisses me off. So, I'll see you next time. Ta-da!